Oh my God, Linux security has been compromised. And if you don't reformat your hard drive and reinstall Linux right now from a brand new DVD that you just downloaded, guess what? You're going to get hacked and we're all going to die. Okay, y'all are saying, Donnie, have you lost your mind? What in the world are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about an article that somebody posted to steamit.com, which is really, really bad and which imparts a lot of really, really bad information. So let's take a look at that and see what it says. Okay, so Steam is a fairly new social media platform that just came online back uh, about the middle of 2016. And it's based on blockchain technology, which in a nutshell just means that they've come up with a decentralized way to store content. So anybody who wants to can open an account on Steemit and post articles. And if enough people with sufficient voting power upvote their articles, then you can get paid in Steam cryptocurrency and it will also increase your voting power so that you can have a better effect on other people's articles when you upvote them. Well, this guy here posted this article that I saw yesterday, Linux users in danger, secure your PC immediately. And you can see here that he gets all, 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 all just sensationalistic about it. A new extreme vulnerability has been discovered in Linux Namely, the apt package that is used to update the system has been compromised. And he goes on to say, hey, it's huge vulnerability, affects most Linux operating systems that are based on Debian, because apt is used by most of them. The danger is extreme since this package is used to update the system itself. Therefore, the whole updating procedure is compromised. So you can't trust any single update that you download, not even the patch that would supposedly fix this. You need to reinstall the OS from scratch and change all passwords that have been exposed. Oh, really? Okay. Well, let's take a look to see what this supposed extreme vulnerability is. Well, here we are at Debian Security Advisory, which tells us all about it. Jan Horn of Google Project Zero discovered that apt does not properly handle errors when validating signatures on in-release files. An attacker able to man into the middle HTTP request to an apt repository that uses in-release files can take advantage of this flaw to circumvent the signature of the in-release files leading to arbitrary code execution. And for the stable version of Debian, which is version 8, it's already been fixed. And for the unstable, it's already been fixed. And so we recommend that you upgrade your apt packages. Okay, so that's going to get taken care of by a simple apt get update and apt gate and apt get dist upgrade. Okay, so uh, reading that, it doesn't seem like a big deal because you, you see there, it says we got to do man in the middle requests or somebody has to do a man in the middle uh, attack in order to get this to work. Now, doing a man-in-the-middle attack is not a trivial matter, okay? That's something that's hard to do, and you know, it's not real likely that, uh, that this is going to happen. So, uh, it's really not as big of a deal as what this guy is making out to be. But let's go on here. Uh, this guy, is, he, he continues saying, well, let's secure our PC again. And remember, we can't trust any single update. And basically, you read through this, he's saying that you download the newest stable version of the Linux distro that you're using, check whether the bug's been up, uh, check whether the bug has been fixed or not. And basically, you got to download the ISO to a secure offline PC. Oh, really? How do you, how do you download something to an offline PC? Uh, I don't know, much magic maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, and then just basically burn the ISO image to DVD and just uh, basically reinstall everything, right? Okay, 
But as you can imagine, this guy's coming in for quite a bit of criticism. This guy here, this article is sensationalism and poor advice. I would urge you to be more circumspect in your handling of security announcements. And it goes on to say how the Debian community is very responsible when it comes to security problems and uh, profit generators response. Yes, but people over here have millions of dollars to lose if they don't act drastically. People around here should be the most cautious. Steemit's accounts are worth a lot. So this guy, another voice of reason, basically says, hey, you know, if people follow your advice, they're going to end up worse off because you're just misstating the problem, misstating the threat, the attack surface, and the proper solution. So you don't comprehend the threat, its nature, or its applicability, and, it's, and you don't understand that it's not an exploitable vulnerability in the general sense. And he's correct. It's, it's really not. Okay? So then, and, he, and you can continue reading there uh, if you like, but uh, basically, well, you go down here in the middle of the page. Here's a list of 72 known vulnerabilities or exploits if you're fixed that your fix reintroduces. And that's because, as you can see in the paragraph above, reinstalling the operating system is going to put the system back in a completely unpatched state where there are known exploits. So th this guy's solution is just making things worse. It's not fixing anything. And then back to this guy, well, I'm not sure I follow you. What are you talking about here? Uh, really? That's hard to understand? Well, the explanation, of course, this latest release is an ISO file that was cut months ago for Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. That would mean rolling all the way back to April 2016. And for 16.10, it's only since October, but there's still a ton of vulnerabilities to reintroduce into your system. And, and, and that's true, you know because these Linux distro maintainers don't just put out a new ISO file every day for every time that updates get created. You know, they, they put out an ISO file like back in April for LTS version. And well, actually, uh, they they've have put out a couple of ISO files since then. So it, it really doesn't go all the way back to April, even for the LTS because they put out a couple of new updated ISO files, you know, since then. But still, it's not the latest and greatest. There's still going to be a ton of vulnerabilities, a ton of unpatched stuff on those. And, of course, the apt package, which is unpatched, is going to be part of that. So, anyway, you would think that after all that, this guy would have been convinced that he was wrong, but no, he goes and writes another article about creating a safe operating system. And he, he says, oh, in the latest post, I got bashed for warning people about an actual threat that could expose people's monies to huge risks. And if a, if a hack were to happen, then it would be disastrous to lose this amount of money. And yet some people think I'm the crazy person for warning people against this exact possibility. These people think I am some crazy conspiracy theorist just exaggerating things. And then he goes on with the and tells about these other hacks, but these hacks here have nothing to do with what he's talking about. They have nothing to do with this apt get problem. So he goes on and gives procedures for creating a safe operating system. That that you can just go ahead and restore from if something happens. Well, here we have this guy, again, another voice of reason, who says, no, you got bashed for giving misleading advice and hyping the fear, and your example here is also faulty. And he's right. And then finally this guy, why are you people so dismissive? Do you really think that ignoring the problem is better than facing it? It's not hype. It's not misleading. It is what it is. The danger is real, and people who have large sums at risk don't think this way. Well, I don't know if this guy just doesn't know anything about Linux and IT security, or if he does know, and if he's just 
trying to create this sensationalism in order to get people to click on his articles. I, I, I just don't know. But either way, the guy is just flat out wrong in his advice. He's offering a solution which is going to make problems worse. I mean, you roll back to an unpatched original uh, ISO file of the operating system, and that unpatched app, that, that flawed app to get utility, is going to be in that new installation of your operating system. So he's not solving anything. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's with the guy. I really don't. But anyway, folks, when you read security news, uh, you, you got to got to be able to weed out that sensationalism you know, from what's really true. I mean, it's just like anything else. Weed out the sensationalism from what's really true, especially when you go on to social media sites like Steemit, where just anybody can post anything, really. So anyway, that's it uh, for this, I think. But anyway, if you like the videos, be sure to like and subscribe and share them out. And uh, We'll see you next time.